Hi, my name's Aled, and I've been having some problems with school. I don't think the school and the local authority are doing enough to help me learn or join in all the lessons and activities. I'm hoping that the Special Educational Needs Tribunal Wales, Sentu, will be able to help me with that. Sentu is a tribunal. People go to tribunals if they're unhappy about certain decisions that affect them. A few months ago, I was unhappy with some of the decisions the local authority made about the extra help I needed at school. I talked about it with my school and the local authority, but I felt that what they decided to do was not enough to help me. A tribunal is a bit like a referee. It does not take sides. It ensures that important rules, called laws, have been followed correctly when decisions were made. So, I decided to ask Sentu to help. This is what they call making an appeal. I chose to do this myself, but my parents could have done it for me. I filled in the application form with the help of my case friend and sent it to Sentu. Sentu must receive the appeal application within two months of the date the LA told you in a letter about its final decision. I had about six weeks to send them all the information about the appeal. This is called a case statement. Sentu then sent me a copy of all the information they had received from the LA about my appeal. I also had a letter telling me where and when my meeting would be held. The tribunal hearing is a meeting between everyone involved in the appeal. It is arranged by Sentu. So I'm going to the meeting, called a hearing, with Sentu, who are a panel of people who will listen to everything and come up with a fair legal decision. I know there will be quite a few people there. My family, my teachers, my therapist, and some people from the LA, who are basically bosses of education in my area. It sounds like a lot, but I know that everybody has to be heard to keep it fair, so that's okay. This is where my hearing is happening, a place outside school that I can get to easily. Sent to have chosen a place that is private and neutral for me and the school, so we feel comfortable and can talk about the things that matter. In other words, my appeal. They told me that someone from Centre will meet us when we get there and tell us a bit more about what's going to be happening today. Hearings usually take place in a neutral venue, like a hotel, and will be in private. Hi. Hi, you must be Alid. Yes, and this is my nan. Hi. My name's Leon and I'm the clerk from Sentu. Thank you for coming. How are you today? Fine, thank you. A little nervous. That's okay. There's nothing to worry about. The panel are here to listen to all the facts and make sure everybody hears what each other has to say. If you'd like to follow me, and I'll come and get you when it's time to start. A clerk from Sentu meets people when they arrive for a hearing and shows them where to go. What time will it start? Usually about 10, so not too long now. How long will it take? It can take all day, but there'll be plenty of breaks and lunch too. You can stay for all of it, or only part of it. It's up to you. It is your hearing after all. Do you have someone to be with you if you decide not to stay in the room for the whole hearing? Yes, my auntie's coming soon. She'll look after me. That's great. I'll be back soon. The hearing can sometimes take all day. It's a good idea to bring a quiet game, toy or book, a jumper and some food and drink. If you'd all like to follow me to the hearing room then, please.
The first thing I notice is how many people there are in the room. Yes. <laughs> this is the chairperson. He's in charge of the tribunal. He listens to what each person says and asks questions. He's also a lawyer. These two either side of him are educational panel members. They are experts in special educational needs. These three people are respondents. She is speaking on the behalf of the LA. She is a teacher and she is a therapist. These people know how I'm getting on in school and they know a lot about my needs. They are called witnesses. This is the clerk. It's his job to make sure everyone is okay. He also records the hearing. This is my case friend. My case friend has helped me prepare for today and will help me make my points. This makes me feel a lot more relaxed about the day and I know I'll get cured with her help. I made the appeal, so I'm the appellant. I've come along today with my nana. I also bought a witness. Boradar, good morning. Welcome to the tribunal hearing. We are an independent body set up to hear these appeals. We have read all of the papers in your case and we've had a meeting before you came in to discuss your case. We will now hear what everyone wants to say and we will ask some questions. At the end of that, when we've heard what everyone has to say, we will have a further meeting and we will make our decision. The tribunal chairperson is in charge of the hearing and will tell you what is going to happen. The chairperson started the day by telling us what was going to happen, including when there would be breaks and time for lunch. We listened to people giving evidence. That means facts about what I needed, what the school could do about my needs. And we could all ask questions. Everyone will have time to talk and ask questions at the hearing, including you. The central panel asked me a few questions like... So what do you like in school? And... What help do you think, Aled, works best for you? I was also allowed to ask questions. The chairperson made sure that everybody had a chance to speak and that we all listened to each other. It wasn't too bad in the end. Now all I have to do is wait for a decision. The tribunal will send you a letter to tell you its decision about two weeks after the hearing. It's been two weeks since the hearing and the Centu panel have been busy writing out the decision very carefully. This is the letter that explains what they have decided. They told me it could be one of three decisions. Allowed, allowed in part and dismissed. Allowed. Centu will agree with the appeal and there must be change in what the school and the local authority do or where I go to school. Allowed in part. This means a centre will agree with some of the appeal, but not all of it. There will be some changes, but not all the changes we wanted. And dismissed. This means that centre don't agree with the appeal, and the school and the local authority will not have to make any changes. So, I wonder what the outcome will be for me.